One hand, I did all the sports. I just learned how to adapt and modify. And then when I started mountaineering and in a basic alpine course, I soon learned that I would have to start modifying the way I'm belaying or the way I'm um, climbing. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't do that. And then it went to, no, I will do that. And now it's, I do do that. My name is Kimber Cross and I live in Tacoma, Washington. I am a kindergarten teacher as well as a mountaineer and adaptive climber, specifically ice climbing with a prosthetic ice tool. So with designing my prosthetic, uh, I met with a prosthetic doctor and he didn't know what ice climbing was. And I had a grainy picture of a climber from 10 years ago that had some kind of prosthetic on their arm. And I said, I want that, let's make it happen. And so a year went by and we did fittings and castings and moldings. I didn't just want to be a top rope ice climber. I had goals and intentions to lead and swing leads and really use this as a functional safe tool that I would trust, that my partners in the Alpine would trust. Hey, I'm Case Turner. I am from Wisconsin, living in Utah. I met Case through the outdoor industry, and I was starting my mountaineering career, and I needed gear. She was getting after it and climbing quite a bit, and there really wasn't ever a question about her abilities or inabilities. It was basically talking through materials and fit, and what's cool, and what's a good-looking color. He was a friend that just knew how to choose and knew what I needed and what I was gonna climb. It became a conversation later where we got her the right tools and then the modification of tools. Once it was all finished, I just hit him up one day and I was like, I'm coming out and you're gonna teach me how to climb waterfall ice. And he was like, okay. Being able to actually put the finished piece on was a surreal experience, because at the same time I felt Suddenly I have access to do this sport. This thing didn't exist. I wanted it to exist and through this whole process, now I have it and I can do this sport and it hasn't held me back. For me, the milestones in my mountaineering career really started with peaks, literal small peaks that were day climbs and I was a part of this basic alpine course and graduated onto an intermediate alpine course where I got more technical skills and leadership skills and the routes got harder and longer. You got everything laid out for the couch. Everything goes in that bag. You start where you feel confident and as you build that confidence, as you build your skill set, you just continue to set higher goals, higher peaks. Now I want this climb, now I want this route. My first climb where I got to use an ice axe it just felt doable and, and exciting where I'm like, wow, I, I totally met the challenge and have conquered this first peak. That just set the ball rolling for the remainder of my mountain goals um, and it's just going to continue. and determination are key elements for anyone, any challenge you have to overcome, adaptive or not. I mean, you gotta walk in that. <laughs> <laughs> 